Hey, it's Spencer. I'm going to show you what we're working on right now. We're going to be cutting a couple of these ingas right here. Um, these ice cream beans, just coming in doing a quick pruning. Probably going to prune them up here, here. Um, basically just trying to make a little bit more sunlight. Uh, take this canopy down up in front of us here. Take this canopy down here. Uh, this is kind of the continuation of our last video. Uh, or not last video, but video we made recently about the monkey pod being cut up here. <clears throat> so we've got an avocado right next to us. And then we're going to want to give some sunlight to the avocado and this Mamie Sapote right here who's actually flowering. Um, just blast them with sunlight, cut all this down, mulch it down on the ground. See, we've got some bare soil right now. Uh, we've got a chicken that came and adopted us, so he's been, she's been kicking around some mulch. Um, so we got to get some stuff on the ground, cover it up again, give this citrus here a nice blast of sunlight. Um, and then we're going to come and manage some of these ingos on this side here. Uh, so this is inside of our duck pen. Um, and we got to open it up, get a little bit more sunlight in this zone. Um, yeah, lots of trees in here. Uh, so Julie's going to come up and work off the ladder into these trees. And then I'm going to chainsaw this one here. Um, just to make it quick and easy and get it down. And then this stuff over here is going to be a little bit more delicate uh, because we have a lot of species in here. And actually the main thing that we're... Oh, there's the chicken right there. Um, we've got a quai muck right here. So we want to give some more sunlight. It has flowered multiple times, hasn't fruited, uh, hasn't made female flowers either. So we really want to just get it that sunlight to see if we can get it to make some female flowers so it can get us some fruit. Um, yeah, we've got these ingos up here. Um, <clears throat> some pods down here. The ducks like to eat them. And then random egg fruit. That was just a seedling. And then we've got this tree right here. This is a china. Um, so that's a seedling china from the cultivar uh, china uh, seedling of that. So that's a Champa Jack, super delicious fruit. We're really excited about that one. It's got a nice size trunk in there. Um, hasn't flowered yet. It's definitely big enough, definitely old enough. So we want to blast it with sun to see if we can get it to produce right now. Uh, lots of Diversity, lots of density in the canopy. Um, we'll just pop in there real quick and we can see what we've got. So we've got Inga here, we've got the Kwai Muk here, we've got an avocado there, we've got another Inga here, there's another Inga over there. Um, got some Costas here, um, got more Inga here, more Inga here. Um, that was the egg fruit. Uh, another Inga here, and here's our Chompa Jack, the China seedling. Uh, we've got an Abiyu here, we've got another Inga here, we've got a native palm here, we've got an Inga here that was used to be our biggest Inga on the property, but we actually we pruned it in the shade and it died. So Ingas are easy to kill, you just need to shade them out. Um, got another native palm here, uh, another native tree here, another egg fruit here. So obviously a ton of stuff out here. Oh, miracle berry here. We've got a grafted durian here. You know, we've got a banana coming up here. We've got a matingia here. Um, got a jabodi kaba there. Uh, so tons of stuff in here. Uh, the ducks like to hang out in here, poop around. Uh, that's why there's not much ground cover in here. They do a lot of stomping. They do some girdling. That's why we've got cages. Um, cages. Um, but we need to get some more sunlight in here so that everything can thrive a little bit more. Give the ducks a little bit more sunlight too. Um, yeah, and then just as a little special treat, I'll show you the cut nut. That's throwing out its very first flowers here. Super exciting for us. We really like cut nuts. They're a really fun plant. They have really beautiful flowers and super delicious nuts. 
Um, and then we're not going to cut these ingas today because I don't think we're going to have time. So a lot more ingas, big ingas. There's a big pachira there. Um, some rolinia here. Some bamboo over there. Some potombas over there. Another durian over here. Uh, Glaricidia there. Coconut there, obviously. All kinds of stuff in here. So this zone actually was our most fertile zone on the property. Uh, when we moved over here full time, we brought the ducks into this area and gave them this lush zone and they've been pumping it up, but they've also been, you know, ravaging the ground cover. Um, so we got to just mulch it, mulch it hard and put, uh, put things all over the ground. Alrighty, we'll do a time lapse of our work. with our efforts today um, I'll just show you show you what we did here so we topped this inga here this was next to that avocado here it's, it's getting a little dark so it's a little hard to see things but yeah that inga right there Mamie sapote right here looking good got nothing above it now uh, we cut this inga Got room for the citrus here. <clears throat> and then we came over and we cut these ingas here. And then we mulched this side here next to our coconut. We got plenty of material down. Mulched it heavy in here. We had a little bit of uh, passion fruit up there we had to pull down and mix into the system. Um, so we're heavily mulched. In here where we had bare soil, we're nice and heavily mulched. Pop in there real quick. Oh, we got a duck. We got two ducks. All right, so we got our egg fruit here. And then we came in, we cut this inga here. So that this quimux got its space now. Cut this inga there. Cut this inga here. Uh, we cut these ingas here. Um, so the china now has much more space. We still do want to come in um, Excuse the duck noises. We still do want to come in and manage a couple of these other things in here, All right? We've got some um, Avocados That need some management and we've got a pachira here that need some management. So we're gonna manage these things next to give the china some space here, and then we can prune the china down. So I don't really wanna prune the china down yet until we can get it some good sunlight because we want it to come down lower and actually make some branches down here and strengthen these up rather than keep shooting up. So if we didn't cut those other trees, I don't know if they can see any better, uh, not really. Um, if we don't cut those other trees then this china is going to just shoot straight up and do exactly what it's doing. So we don't want to do that. We want to actually give it more space so that it can come down a little bit. This is one of our super delicious fruits that we really, really like. So we want to keep it low for harvest. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get it to flower. Just got to do a little bit more management and we'll take some videos of that along the way. All right, see you later.